Why study protein synthesis? It's important to understand how the genes in our DNA influence our characteristics. For example, how can a gene result in very pale skin and hair? How can another gene cause sickle cell anemia? Looking at this diagram, we can see that the nuclear membrane separates the nucleus from the cytoplasm. We know that the genetic information, or in other words, our genes, are found on these DNA strands that are confined to the nucleus. A gene provides the instructions for making a protein, and proteins influence our characteristics. A gene directs the synthesis of a protein by a two-step process. First, the instructions in the gene found in DNA are copied into a messenger RNA molecule, or mRNA molecule. The sequence of nucleotides in the gene determines the sequence of nucleotides in the mRNA strand. This step is called transcription. Second, the instructions in the messenger RNA molecule are used by ribosomes in the cytoplasm to insert the correct amino acid into the correct sequence to form the protein coded for by that gene. The sequence of nucleotides in the mRNA strand determines the sequence of amino acids in the protein. This step is called translation. By the end of this unit, you will need to be able to describe the structural similarities and differences between DNA and RNA, describe the process of transcription and name the enzymes involved in transcription, and describe the process of translation.